Hi, I'm here right now with the winner of Jewel of the Philippines and her name is Ishel Medrano. <laughs> yeah, and we're here in the event of Madison 101. It's one of the best places to stay and it's affordable and it's right in the heart of um, Gilmore. <laughs> LRT2. <too. laughs> so I'd like to know more first. Um, can you tell me about your journey to win Jewel of the uh, Philippines and San Balangaling yung pageant na to? Actually, I was born and raised in the Middle East, and the first thing that I came to do was find a school because I'm a college na po ako. Um, but then it didn't work out the way that we planned it. So um, my handler he called me up and he said that he has this friend who is the founder and the director of Jewel of the Philippines, and he wants me to join his pageant. So Jewel of the Philippines is actually my first pageant, and luckily I won the title. Um, so yon. Since Jewel of the Philippines, pag nanalo po kayo, uh, Tito John, the director, he's gonna be your manager, and he will be sending you to international pageants. Which, um, since you know, he's he's a very good manager. He has dealt with a lot of international pageants as well. So, yeah. So the first one is Jewel of the Philippines. Then the next one, the Jewel of the World. I the will world. be representing Philippines. And where will that be held? That will be here in uh, Quezon City. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> is that the first time there's going to be a pageant like that here or is it um, many times? Um, actually, Jewel of the World is going to be its first year. Um, it's the launching of the Jewel of the World. Wow. But there has been a lot of international pageants that was held here in the Philippines. But Jewel of the World is going to be the first year. Wow. And you're the first winner for the Philippines. I'm the second. A second na? The second year for Jewel of the Philippines. Ako po yung title. First winner. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you're the second winner of Jewel of the Philippines. Um, Tama? Title po, meaning first. Yung first. Ay, I know. You're the, you're the top winner, right? Oh, okay. uh, but this is the first year of Jewel of the Philippines. You're the, second, the first winner. Second year. Bro. It's already the second year, yeah. but you're you're gonna be uh, f uh, fighting against, uh, not fighting, but um, challenging other beauties from around the world. Yes. Bro. So, but this year, they're gonna be selecting another one Jewel of the Philippines second winner, right? Something like that? Third. Third na? <laughs> Yeah. So you're the second talaga. I'm the second yeah, second batch of Jewel of the Philippines. Winner. So in the first batch what happened? Did the fir first Jewel of the Philippines also compete in a Jewel of the World? Yes po, all all winners all, uh, compete in an international pageant. Um yung nalo po yung winner ng Jewel of the Philippines dati, wala pa po kasi Jewel of the World. Ah, it, so siya siya pinadala. Um Miss Asia, I think, Miss Asia. How did she do China. naman? Um, dun po sa five winners kasi, uh, they didn't, none of them won, but of course, may nakaabot naman po sa top eight, finalists, um, they won special awards, so, okay. yun. Can you tell me lang the format of Jewel of the Philippines? So, is it the normal, like, there's like, is there like a swimsuit, is there like a evening gown, and then the interview, yes, talent po. portion? It's it's like a normal uh, pageant po talaga, there will be a uh, cultural costume, since it's a cultural pageant, so, parang, your advocacy should be about the culture of the Philippines. It's to promote and preserve the um, culture and tradition of the Philippines. So, um, yung costumes is very important, and even sa long gown, you will be showcasing parts of the Philippines. Yung mga ako ano yung we're, what we're proud to represent. So yours is like more like um, probably Maria Clara type or what? What was your cost, uh, theme for that? Cultural my part? my costume was uh, made of. Um, the nyog, the the coconut um, shells, uh. and it was really really heavy, but uh, <laughs> it was worth it. Um, I was top three in the uh, costume segment, and our gowns it had a specific theme. We uh, uh, Tito John made sure that we knew that it should be Muslim themed, so yun po. And swimsuits uh, last year it was provided by. Uh, Doms Ramos. Was it uniform for the swimsuits or iba ibang design? Yes, po, uniform. Provided. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, besides uh, your quest to get the jewel of the world crown, ano pang mga plans mo sa life mo, like in terms of your career or in terms of uh, other things? Well, actually, po, um, a lot of people has told me that I should join Bini Bini, uh, but for now, it's a bit too early because I'm still starting on this whole pageant thing. Um, but I'm more focused on Jewel of the World right now. After it, 
I might still join international pageants and I might enter show business club. Yo, nang tatanong ko talaga actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, sino gusto mong collab team if ever? Um, wala <laughs> Top five, just give five para para walang tampuhan sila. Mga wala. five. <laughs> Showbiz question yan eh. Oh. Um, sino po ba? I'm not sure. Kahit matanda, okay lang. Kahit anong age, kahit bata, whatever. Basta yung parang repair sa'yo lang. Showbiz question, normal showbiz question yun eh. Okay. <laughs> para um, practice showbiz na rin. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, personally, I like... Sino ba? Sino? Coco uh, Martin, Teolo Pascual, ano, uh, John Lloyd, uh, Tony Labrusca, Tony Pangilinan. Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know Makoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makoy so. from hashtag. Yeah, I, I kind of find him cute. <laughs> um, but also Nico from hashtag as well. Um, Coco Martin. <laughs> uh, but James Reed taken na po yun eh. By... Pwede naman, kasi ngayon sa showbiz may mga mixed LT naman. Oh, oh. Pwede, sa James Reed pero... pwede, sina pa. Um, Pag mo, kahit taken, okay lang pwede mo i-mention naman. Hindi naman sila magalit school. Sa ganda mo naman na ganyan, di ba? Hindi naman. Maybe Tanner. Tanner. Yun po. So you're like, of course, you're in the millennial age and stuff since medyo batang bata ka pa. What would you say about people who are easily depressed right now in in era? in uh, this era. Anong gina magagawa mo to help them overcome their depression? Anong, anong mga words mabibigay mo sa mga ganong people, like young women who are going through a lot of being disconnected with their family or they, they're looking for love and they can't find it. Like we know, like Sarah G had an emotional breakdown. So can you share, ano bang, anong bang words mo to them? Let's say you're talking to someone who's about to kill themselves or someone's depressed or they, they're giving up on life and you're talking straight to their face right now. Anong sasabihin mo? Well, of course, it's really hard to talk to someone who's already at that stage of depression. But, syempre, you will try your best. You will try to convince them that they still have a purpose in their life. You know, everyone does. And maybe they still haven't found their their true purpose. And they should never forget to love themselves. Because they can never fully give love to other people unless they have love for their, for their own self. And, syempre, stay, stay true and believe that you can do whatever you want to do as long as... You know, you have faith, um, you trust God in Amen. what He has planned for you, and that, you know, you, you have a kind heart, you have a good heart, and you're uh, very sincere and um, compassionate in what you plan to do. Alam ko na yung sekreto mo, kaya ka nanalo. Ano po yun? May pananampalataya ka pala. Eh. <laughs> Siyempre, oh, hindi nawawala. Kasi ang beauty is not just here in the face. It's also from God's glory. The gums down. Once you honor him, he will honor you. Opo, syempre. Amen. So, this is an edition of Happy Rich TV and with a good sharing by our current champion for Jewel of the Philippines, I pray and I pray that you will make it all the way to the top in your career. And pag nasa showbiz ka, makalimutan na. I'll be part of your head admin sa fans mo. Sa fans club mo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.